Three years ago, one of the first videos I made on campus was me dressing up like a cow and giving people therapy. And so in honor of Valentine's Day and less than 100 days until I graduate, I decided to do it again. When I arrived on site, there was already a line forming, which was pretty cool. Money's gonna start rolling in any second now, I'm sure. The first guy I talked to talks about how he hits on his RA. Is that your RA? He is my, he's my baby boo. You're hitting on your RA? I think my biggest problem with you is that you're always in my room. I think you guys need to find what time you value in each other the most and focus on that. I'm free after two. I didn't mean... And then the next guys I talked to talked about their passionate bromance. We're in a very passionate bromance. We've it's kissed true. unironically three times. Mm. First time was because they were playing Playboy Cardi, Die Lit, in the fret basement. It's true. We were singing, we bent in, and we smooched. Yeah. We have a connection that's so strong. We have the same bitmoji on Snapchat. Different skin tones, but it's the same bitmoji. Sounds like you have a forever friend in this guy. I have a question to ask you. I'm listening. Will you be my valentine? <gasps> I will. Oh. I will. Oh. And as goofy as these two were, they kind of reminded me of myself freshman year. Oh, it's his fault! I'm taking it! It's his fault! It's My friend James then walked up and I solved his relationship issue by holding his hand. Sweet! Another one solved! <laughs> you struggle to meet women, you'd say? The confidence is a little lacking. Do you think maybe you just haven't grown into your shell yet? You know, it helps, you know, that I got him with me. The whole way through, my ride or die, right here. Ride or die. My number one bro. My number one bro. You guys are, you guys are still young, right? There's plenty of time to discover yourselves and figure out who's for you and uh, find some more people to share this lovely human experience with. Bros for life on three. One, one two, two, three, three. Bros, bros for life. life. And after those two bros, I had my first actual couple. So it seems like the main discrepancy in your guys' relationship is time spent with one another, right? And the value of said time. Would you say that that's what it boils down to? Yeah, and Hamza. And Hamza. Yeah. So there's an individual that's causing a rift in your two's relationship. She doesn't like when I play Beyblades with Hamza. Oh. She's a bit skeptical about it. So what should we do about that? Well, if you want my opinion, I think confrontation is the only way to a, like a real outcome, right? That's good. I that think. sounds great. Yeah. I think we'll try that. Should yeah, try thank that? you. And then a thruple. And what would you say is the most difficult part about being in a thruple? We have to decide who goes in the middle, who's yeah. on top, who's on bottom. Right. Like a sandwich. Like a sandwich. Who gets yeah. to be the meat. Do any of you have preferences on your positions in this relationship? Uh, I'd say it's like this, where he's a little spoon. Little spoon. Big spoon. Biggest middle, spoon. Middle spoon, middle spoon. Yeah. yeah. More You're less. eating a banana. Do you want some? I found out these three weren't actually a throuple, but the one guy is in a new relationship. How long have you been together? A week and a half. Yeah. A week and a half? Yeah. Wow, so like 10 days? Yeah, more or less. Mm -hmm. I'd honestly say she was probably like my best friend last semester. Nice. And over the break, I just, uh, I really missed her. And then I was like, we got back and it's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask her out. You guys spend a lot of time with each other. I'm sure you guys are in this initial phase where it's really exciting, right? Yeah. So if I could offer my piece of count counseling, at some point in your guys' relationship, the spark, initial spark will be gone. And that's fine. Part of a relationship is working through that and the experiences you guys will share in spite of it. You need your lows to experience your highs. And uh, don't forget that you guys are both people and it sounds like you guys love each other. So continue it. And uh, if any of my advice was wrong today, I am legally obligated to tell you I'm not a licensed therapist. So what do you guys appreciate most about each other? Could you guys both give each other a compliment? I really appreciate her thoughtfulness and just like her passion about life in general, just like the ability to think about everything deeply and give like the best advice to someone and truly like be such a great listening ear for everyone. And I really appreciate that. I'm the best. Thank so. you. That was so sweet. It's true. At this point, things were getting far too wholesome for my liking. So it was a good thing that the entire ROTC program interrupted. And oh, what's that? Another thruple. The three of us have been together for a pretty long time now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, But, you know, I think we're starting to develop some rockiness in our relationship. One of them started crying. It's my height. Too tall. I'm too tall, man. I'm too tall. You are tall. How can we fix this? I have a couple ideas. I had one idea. Okay. Wait. Okay. You have a live demonstration. Do it with them. And this is what college is for. I appreciate this. I really do. The main thing in a person is their inner beauty. It's true. So even though it might be hard to look at him because he's freakishly tall, 
You have to look at what's on the inside, and that's a beautiful, lovely young chap who's destined for greatness. Thank you so much, Therapy Cow. Thank you, Therapy Cow. <laughs> There we go. Love wins. Love you. The next group I talked to started off by getting deep about their personal lives. I have commitment issues. Man whore. Yeah, I, Man yeah, whore. I listen to Lil Peep. What do you love about him? I need a few minutes to think about that one. Okay, we'll come back to it. We did not come back to it. What do you love about her? Honestly, uh, nothing. Okay. <laughs> I, have a, I have a good exercise. How about you guys stare in each other's eyes for 30 seconds? Don't say a word and just look at each other. Is the time up? No. Nope. Are you serious right now? Walking red flags, like you guys are meant for each other. Type yeah, of. look, we have like Thank the, you. we have like matching air yeah, I was gonna say, you guys have the matching like douchebag yeah. air, f yeah, you guys yeah, have it all. Like, yeah, yeah. We are, we are pretty douchey, I gotta say. Yeah, but like in a charming way, like you guys compliment each other's douchiness. It's really, it's really admirable. Truthfully. Yeah, I think, personally, I think she's douchier though. Like, no, no, I tend to see, be that's sweeter. not true. Okay. It feels like you guys are at a point in your relationship where you guys could attack each other, but you'll both know it's in good fun. So I feel like you guys are at a pretty good point. Most of the hour I spent doing cow therapy felt pretty unproductive, but the last guy I talked to was genuinely a great kid, and he offered some pretty good advice. You could use this like a microphone. Oh, okay. So who are you? Oh, like my name? Yeah. Oh, I'm Nico. You're Nico? Yeah. And are you in a relationship? I am. You are? Yeah. Interesting. And uh, how long has that been going on? Uh, two and a half years. Two and a half years? Yeah. I think I need couples counseling from you. You seem to be an expert, Nico. What advice would you give to somebody who's searching for their forever partner? There's no harm in you know, waiting a bit. Getting to know someone, mm -hmm. becoming maybe best friends with them mm -hmm. before you're starting to date them. Right. Yeah. That's great advice. You're the only person I've talked to today that's offered anything substantial. Right. <laughs> I wasn't sure. Take some flowers and give them to your, uh, your partner. Aww. Thank you so much.